I feel I haven't seen the sun for probably six months. And now it's here and it's only staying there for one day. Tomorrow it's gonna rain again. Cutting the grass is the program of today. However, like everything at the Chateau, it's not a straightforward job. The lawnmower has a problem. The friend was here, Mate. Hello, Mate. He was cutting the grass. That was nice of him. But he ran into a, an electrical wire, which is not so nice of him. And I need to get it off. And I don't know how I can get it off and if I can get it off. Now that looks a bit precarious, that's just because it is precarious. How safe do you think it is to climb under the lawnmower like this? Oh, well, I don't have, a, don't have a choice, do I? Let's inspect the problem. All right. That doesn't look good. That's the problem. No wonder it's blocked. Now keep in mind that after the winter, the first cut is always the deepest because you, <laughs> that's funny, it could be a song. The first cut is the deepest. Anyways, uh, so I, I cut it in twice. I cut it once, I cut a little bit, and then a couple of days later I cut more because this lawnmower doesn't collect the grass. If I cut it to the perfect length, then there would be a massive amount of grass everywhere. I don't know if that was interesting, but um, that's what I'm doing now. And now watch. Lawn more time lapse. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. If you win, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make the chow. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. If you miss you, we gon' get tipsy. You need a power shot.
I have to stop with the lawnmower because we have a rule in this village from 12 to 2 o'clock we are not allowed to make loud noises. And unfortunately, I live next to what I believe is the only person who knows and cares about this rule in this village. But hey, I have other things to do like these bushes here. These are holly bushes. And I have the ambition for many years now to turn them into bowl-shaped topiary beauties. I don't know if I will succeed to make them, but watch me trying. Does it start looking like a, a ball? No. Oh, it's getting hot. I mean, come on, it's taking shape. And what should I do here? Should I just keep it growing or maybe maybe I shape it even more to in a, a second ball, a secondary ball? I think I'm going to make two balls next to each other. One a bit lower, the other one a bit higher. It's going to look natural. It's a really common shape in nature. It starts raining and it's windy, but I don't care. I love gardening. Gardening serves as my escape for the mind. The simple act of pruning, planting, taking care of the trees and bushes it provides me the sense of accomplishment and meaning. I mean, look at this beauty. An hour ago, this was still a twisted tangle of branches and weeds. And if you just said, I can't see the difference, it's because the camera angle or because you have no idea about gardening. Anyway, sometimes gardening is not enough to deal with more complex mental health challenges. And that's why I'm pleased to announce that this week's advert comes courtesy of BetterHelp, which connects you with a credentialed therapist who helps you to explore and articulate your emotions, understand underlying issues and develop strategies to overcome these issues. And all this without the need of physically have to go somewhere because it happens online. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with your therapist, in most cases within 48 hours or less. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy session as a phone call, as a video chat, or even via messaging, if that's what makes you feel most comfortable. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com chateau. Using the link helps this channel, but it also gives you a 10% off your first months of BetterHelp, so you can get matched with a therapist who can listen and help. And I need to get some gloves. So now I'm fully equipped and I look more professional. No, really, how, how different does it look from one to ten? Tell me I'm not out in the rain here for nothing. Today is an epic day because I'm going to teach Maxime how to level the floor in the bathroom. It's going to be epic. You're going to learn a lot. He's going to learn a lot. I will be... Uh, we start with cleaning off the excess glue that was here from the previous line of floor. I told him already previously that he has to fill these holes with... Um, with a polyurethane foam. So he followed my instructions and filled these holes. We're also going to put some... Um, uh, we're also going to put some réagréage fibré on top of this. I will explain him exactly how to do it. And that will be strong enough to hold a sort of film, a sort of membrane, and on top of that membrane, and the membrane has little bubbles, so when we put the tiles on top, even if this, the floor moves a little bit because it's wood, it wouldn't transmit the movement of the floor to the tiles, and there's no cracking. Yeah, and now press. You see, he does, you have to do this. Okay.
this is really annoying to do what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pretend I need a toilet. I put this here and see if I come back if he's doing it. It worked. So I just explained to him that we start with this. Um, is it, is it quite is that with this fixator, which again is, and this is gonna prepare the floor. So as I just explained to Maxime, this helps to the next layer to stick on the floor. If we wouldn't do this, the next the layer that. As I just explained to Maxim, it takes 45 minutes to dry and then we have 24 hours to put on the second layer. Because if we wait longer, this will completely dry and then it doesn't stick to the next layer, to the equalizing layer, to the leveling layer. Leveling layer, maybe better, leveling layer. Anna, I think I found the color, the perfect color. Wow. <laughs> I chose. You went for arsenic green. A drastic, dramatic decision. It's, um... It's an interesting color choice for the floor of the bathroom. No, it looks, seriously, it looks really good. I don't know what you're doing, but it looks good. It looks like you're making progress. So we waited for 45 minutes and I told Maxime to install these wooden bars here to prevent the, the liquid leveling thing to spread out. I'm good, what are you doing? 
I'm just doing a few rough sketches to try and play around with different ideas for the layout for the wallpaper. Wow, nice. There's a couple of different ideas. This one is a little bit more messy and full. And then this one I got inspired by this design over here, which is a little bit more stylized, quite leafy. I also was wondering whether to include a bird or not. I like the bird. I quite like that one. And then I've done this one, which would be something quite open and spaced out and a lot larger scale. I'm actually going to do something I haven't really done before. Normally I do a half size uh, print. And this time I'm going to attempt to do a full width of a wallpaper as a stamp. Oh, so it becomes much more intricate. So it gives me a much larger area to play around with for my design so I can make it a larger scale. And it will take you 10 years to carve. It will take me a little longer to carve, but... Yeah, it's a I'm, new thing. Yeah, I'm trying it. I want to try out something different. So That's yeah, cool. we'll see. So I'm just... Sometimes I do work differently. Sometimes like I just, you know, play around, do some bigger sketches and start playing around directly onto the piece of paper for the artwork. But this time I thought I'd just roughly do some sketches first and try and see how things work out and get an idea of what sort of look I want for the paper. And what was your inspiration for that? Well, it's the passion flower. The passion flower? Yeah. Yeah. We spoke about this. I haven't advanced that much on my design this week, but that is because I've been busy working on my Home Print Academy which is my online workshop where I teach people how to create prints like this for wallpapers and fabrics for decorating your home. If that sounds like something you could be interested in learning more about, then I've released a six part free video series where I go into more depth and talk all about the course, what I teach, what you're gonna learn, all the details that you need to know. I'll put the link in the description of this video. All you need to do is put your name and your email address and then you'll be sent directly a link where you can click on it to watch all of those videos. For free. For free. Speaking of flowers, Anna, mm -hmm. we just received a package. Yeah. And with live flowers, so we have to plant them. Okay. And I have to edit. So I need to go in the garden. Yes. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this print. <laughs> Before we go in the garden, I'm just a bit curious because Maxime's been here working quite hard this week and I haven't seen what he's been doing, so... With me, Anna. I helped. Yeah. I guided. I guided Maxime. Yes, of course. Yes, let's not forget your essential help. Salut, Maxime. Ça va? Je viens juste de voir ce que tu es en train de faire. Ah ouais, le plafond, ça change. Mais super. Oh là là. Philippe m'a donné une leçon, alors maintenant, je... Ah oui, oui, voilà, c'est ça. <rire> Combien il t'a payé pour dire ça <rire> Vraiment comme un, un plafond neuf maintenant. C'est ça. Ouais. On va changer. Ouais, super. Anna, you have to come and look what we've done in here. In here Yes. Ta -da. <gasps> wow, it's dry now. Oh my goodness. Can I walk on it Yes. Oh, wow, looks so good. Fantastic. Well, and it's gone. All the glue, all the ugliness. All the holes. All the holes. Some of them are gone, some of them are covered up. Yeah. <laughs> little by little, this room is transforming, isn't it? It is. If you can imagine, like, just a few months back where we were at, and I know there's still quite a bit to do, but it feels like we're on the home straight now, no? Totally, yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you, but the Tyler was here. Okay. For a quote. Yeah. And he saw the shower. Yes. And he said, it's very well done. For an amateur. No, he didn't say, he just said, it's very well done. There's now no to, toilet now yet. you have to say, wow. No, the floor. Oh, oh, sorry, the floor, yes. yes. Can you say, wow? Wow. Thank you. Wow. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> you don't seem really impressed with the whole I, thing. I am. What Are do you? you, I can't, what do you want me to do? Like, it's well, I think it's a, it's a huge change, it's a huge no, transformation. No, it is, it is a huge, and I'm just relieved to not see that yes. crazy, messy floor anymore. Yeah. And all the holes. Well, the thing is, now it doesn't have any character. Well, Benoit and Vincent, they need to do all the mouldings yeah. and, you know, bringing back some character. But yeah. other than that... Good, well done. And there you can see how much it needed to be flattened. So that's the, now this is obviously uh, level surface and... There was one centimeter missing. So a change of plan. 
Anna forgot that she has yoga class because we have a deal, we made a deal. Uh, she's allowed to go to yoga class once in a while and I'm allowed to buy a sailboat. She hasn't signed the deal yet, but I think it's a good deal for her. I felt generous, but it's raining now, uh, so I don't know what to do. It's annoying, it's always raining here. Sometimes I think we're in Normandy. Now the other problem is I'm wearing my best trousers. But being the smart person I am, I also wore my best jumper, so I'm permanently reminded that these are my best trousers. As you can see, it's not really planted yet. Actually, it's not at all planted yet, it's the entrance. We thought about it a long time, what to plant here what color, what type of flowers and plants, but I decided to put something simple, not, nothing overwhelming, something discreet, just to cover these, these areas. So the cars, you can see here, the cars, they sometimes when they come in, they just don't see that that's soil and they drive into the soil and then you have soil everywhere. So, so to keep it simple, keep it discreet. I'm gonna show you what I bought. That's so funny, that's Anna, who does that, decorating a pair of scissors. Such a girly thing to do. Oh, metal staple. Oh, another metal. I bought only one special plant. This is a Parthenocissus, a climbing vine, and in English it's called Boston Ivy. Wilder Wein. I like the German one, wild wine. But it doesn't make wine, it just gets beautiful leaves in fall. They're fire red. I had one of these before, and the good thing is you can put it on, onto a wall and it will, won't damage the wall. I only bought one, I don't want a symmetry here, that would look silly. So I think I put it here, or here, I don't know yet. I think here. And the idea is that it climbs up the fence a little bit. And all the other plants are Lonicera migrune. We use them a lot around the chateau because they're nice ground covering plants. You can cut them back, you can trim them, you can put them in shape. I, I love them. They're quite resistant against um, all sorts of uh, plant problems. And no weed grows underneath these. So that's the advantage of these. Okay, it's not a huge transformation that will make this vlog viral, but I'm pleased it's done. And in two years' time, this will be covered in Lonicera Maigrün, and hopefully also a little bit of this, or is it here, of this wild wine. Okay, I think you've seen enough for this week. So thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks to our patrons, like always, because without them, this channel wouldn't be possible. And see you in about two weeks. We are making a one-week pause because the kids are off school and we want to spend some time with them. So have a wonderful time and see you soon.